what's up people what's going on today um i am out and about and i'm gonna run in the store in a minute to get me some snacks for to watch my shows tonight i think the only thing i might watch tonight is fix my life but anyway i just wanted to share with y'all a dream that i had earlier today when i took a nap um it's a dream that you know one of those dreams that it's kind of lengthy but it has a lot of things going on in it at the same time it may be something that's giving you a message so i like to sit, share those kind of dreams with y'all from time to time i dream a lot some people say they don't dream at all or either they just don't remember their dreams but i remember almost all of my dreams but this one i think is kind of worth sharing with y'all and maybe you can help me understand what it means so I had a dream that, and my aunt was in this dream, who's deceased, and my uncle, her husband, he's also deceased. He was in a dream. The dream took place in my dining room. My co-worker was at my house. I don't know why. <laughs> my co-worker was at my house. He was in a dream, sitting in the dining room, but he wasn't sitting at the table with them. They were sitting at my dining room table, and like they was fixing on something. And you know how some dreams you know you can hear the person and you know who it is but you can't see their face and they were working on something so i couldn't really make out what they were working on like they were you know fixing something it could have been fixing a, a clock or something i don't know they was fixing something at my dining room table i was standing up at the table and i asked them um do they smell something and they was like, no. So I went to go look outside to um, see where, this, where the smell was coming from. And I noticed that I had a car where my palm tree is. <laughs> and I know I was talking, I did a video, if y'all could go watch it, if you haven't already watched it, my video that I did yesterday on the uh, palm tree, the sago palm trees, you know, that kind of symbolizes you know, it has a connection with the Palm Sunday and, you know. So anyway, I had a car sitting in my yard where my palm tree is. Like if it was on a commercial, like if I was selling a car or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy. And if you see how my house is made, it sits up high like on a hill. My house sits way up high on the hill. And... There's no way that a car can go in my yard because that's not the way my home is made. You can only go up my carport and back down the driveway, but you can't get in the yard. My yard is kind of small and the palm tree is what sits out the most. I have two long bushes that on each side of my stairway. So anyway, I just wanted to describe to y'all how, how the front of my house looks. So there's no way a car could get in the yard where it was and why was it sitting where my palm tree is. So anyway, I looked outside and I said, I see smoke coming from the basement of the building across the street. And there's no building across the street, just houses in real life. But in a dream, it's a building. The smoke is coming from the basement and the smoke was, it was just like mist. Then it got a little dark, then it got heavier, then it got dark smoke. But the smoke came out of the basement and it just formed, you know, bigger and bigger in one spot. It didn't go up into the air, you know, and form the big smoke cloud like you would see when a house is on fire or something. So this was some strange smoke coming from the building. And they was like, I don't, they came and looked out and was like, I don't see it. And I said, just watch, just wait, you'll see it. And they was like, I don't see anything. Don't smell nothing. So they said, they went back to sit at the dining room table, finished working on whatever. My coworker still just sitting there. I don't know why he was just in the dream randomly. <laughs> why it was so random that he's in the dream. I don't know. He's sitting in the dining room, just sitting in a chair by this computer desk that I have in the dining room. And I'm standing at the table. I never took a seat at the table. And then another aunt appealed and appeared in my dream. She's also the C. She's my mother's oldest sister. But she's standing up next to my co-worker. When I turned around, I'm like, what the hell? So she ended up in a dream out the blue. And 
I'm um asking them. I just want to ask y'all something. You know, can y'all tell me some more things about my mom and how she was when she was a teenager, stuff like that. My mother died when I was 18. I just turned 18. My mother passed away. And she was 52 years old. And this was in 1993. I lost my mother. She was young, which you considered very young, of uh, stomach cancer. And I was 18, so yeah. Anyway, my mother been deceased for a long time, since 1993. But in a dream, I'm, I'm asking my aunts, can they tell me something? Just tell me some stories. I don't know why they came to mind, you know, to even ask them. And they was like telling me things, but it was, it was gibberish what they was telling me. I couldn't even make out what they were saying. Then on top of that, I went back to the door to look for the smoke to see if it was going away or not. And I started to hear sirens. So I'm like, well, something must be on fire. I don't know why I dreamed about that. And then after that, I went back to the dining room table. And my other aunt who had appeared in a dream, my aunt and then her husband, they was talking. I still can't make out what they were saying. But I know they was talking. My co-worker still sitting in a dream, just sitting there, not saying a word. Never said a word throughout the whole dream. I'm standing at the table. And so I guess they had finished telling me about my mama. And then after that, um, my aunt who was sitting down at the table with her husband, she said, but I do have something to ask you. And I said, well, just tell me. I just want to hear some more things about my mama. Just tell me a few more things. I like listening to things that she used to do or what she was into. And they said, okay, but just answer this for me. Who is your favorite aunt? And I said, you was no offense to my other aunt. And she's, and my uncle said, I think you're just saying it because we here. <laughs> and I said, no, if I was just saying it, I would have, you know, just said all of y'all because my other aunt is standing here. So I don't have no reason to lie. That's how I feel. My true feelings, y'all was my favorite. Because you looked out for me after my mama passed and stuff like that. And you made sure that everything was straight at my house from time to time. Even though you could have been going through things on your own in your own household. But you took the time out to make sure I was straight out of all the other aunts. They were there to do that all the time. My aunt and my uncle who passed away. So with that being said, she was getting ready to tell me something about my mama. My son walked in the room and woke me up. And then that was the end of the dream. And I was like, what was she trying to tell me? So, of course, I love to go on the website, you know, what dreams mean. Or just put in, you know, I just put in the description of whatever it is in a dream that stood out the most. And to me, it was the smoke. Like, why was that just so random in a dream? But that stood out the most to me. So I looked up to see smoke. And it kept bringing up about smoking or to see someone smoking. Or you see yourself in a dream smoking and you don't, you're not a smoker. And I'm like, I'm not talking about that kind of smoke. So let me be more specific. So I put in, so different titles would come up and then it say all these symbols. It's just kind of telling you like whatever it is in a dream, it just might come true. You know, you just have to read into things and come up with your own interpretation of what it could be. And I do that anyway. So it was this word um, spelled E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-L. And I guess it's pronounced ephemeral. I looked it up. That means that um, temporary, short term, short lived, you know, something that's not going to last long at all. Seasonal or whatever. So what I did was looked up. I finally got to what best described my dream. And it says to see smoke coming from somewhere. And then it just describes to see smoke coming from somewhere means a long live life of, and then this word ephemeral, which to me is just another word for temporary. And I'm saying it's another word for it because I'm pretty sure I learned this back at school, but I don't remember it. And it's not like we use this word when we describe it, when we best describing something, you know, short term. <laughs> We're going to say short term or temporary. We're not going to take the time out to say because this is considered a big word. It's kind of hard to pronounce. And I'm not good at pronouncing big words. 
but our understanding clearly, and it just means short term, short lived, temporary, you know, seasonal. So I was just trying to put together what could that mean and what is it telling me? I don't want to keep thinking about it for a long time, you know, and not really getting anywhere and just coming up with my own conclusions. So if y'all could kind of help me out and let me know what you think it means, just let me know what you think it means. Um, yeah, so let's just have a conversation. Leave a comment and let me know what this dream could mean. And, um, you know, I'll come back later probably with another part two of this dream explaining. Because sometimes they take a day or two or some time or a week or so before something is revealed to you. You know, God can reveal things to you through your dreams also. So, yeah. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and share. And thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Help me figure out what this dream means, and I'll talk to y'all later.